Right, we're coming up to that traditional time for stopping drinking alcohol, right? Um, I want you to think about something. Just imagine waking up on January the 1st, feeling clear-headed. What does that mean? It means going to bed the night before without uh, loads of alcohol in your system and waking up with no hangover. If you take it a bit further and you visualize how good it feels to conquer each and every day, right? Every day of January, you're getting through it. One day after the next, no need for alcohol at all. And take it a step further and go through your year. Just think about all the things that are gonna happen in the next year or all the possible things that can happen in the next year. Don't forget, you know, when you stop drinking alcohol, you open up so much potential in your life, but it's only potential, right? It's, it's stuff that you have to do. It's stuff that you have to work at. You have to uh, keep the, stop the flow of alcohol, do the work that is necessary, and then move on at the end of it. That's the, the system. Um, but if you don't do the work, if you don't do anything, if you, if you don't keep the flow stopped, then you're not gonna move on to anything. So none of this is possible. So just think about it, visualize going through that first year, all the things that are gonna happen within that first year when you have no more need for alcohol, when you have no more need to put this poison inside your body. Think about the, the peaceful weekends ahead, right? Think about the clear head that you have during the week for your work or maybe changing your job or doing something different, maybe studying. Think about all of that. Think about you arrive at your birthday, your vacations without alcohol and how much more you can enjoy those vacations and not only enjoy them, but come back after the vacation is over and be in a different state of mind, feel relaxed, feel like you've achieved something from your vacation, feel like all the work that you put in to get that vacation is now worthwhile. You've got the memories of the vacation to hold on to, right? You know, think about heading into springtime and all that goes with springtime i love spring spring is such a i mean i never thought i would enjoy winter but here we are in andorra in winter and i love it i love it you know this is i'm up here uh this morning i was up about quarter past four did some work and i'm out here now working walking on these mountains at, it's just after seven so think about the summertime the sun everything growing around you all that power that sun brings all that power that the summertime brings to you think about the autumn all those leaves falling and finally when we head around to this time next year think about your first anniversary the first year free of this poison you know think about that journey that you've taken in your first year. I, my first year, I achieved so much. And it was only in retrospect, looking back on it, how much I'd changed that I could see that, you know? Your first year in your new life. You know, visualize your success. Get out for a walk and just think about these things, you know, allow these things to go through your mind. What, what am I gonna do with all this time that I've got over the next year? You know, think about your new year. Think about how clear your head's going to be, how good you're going to feel, how rich your thoughts are going to be and how r those rich thoughts then translate into rich and strong actions. You know, the year ahead is going to be what you make it, right? That's it. Where you end up after the year. You know, you're going to be one year older. And there's nothing you can do about that. You know, hopefully you get to the end of the year. Uh, that's the way I think about it now. Um, but I'm going to be a year older and that year is going to come around. Um, when you're a year older this time next year, um, how you've spent that year and where you are next year depends on what you do now. You know, where you are this time next year, who you are going to be this time next year. 
you know, the year ahead is going to unfold in exact proportions to what you fold into that year, what you put into that year. So if you want me to walk you through this journey, um, if you want to walk with me, sharing some of my insights and steps how to get there, um, go to habitsv2.com. Take care of yourself. Have a happy new year, a successful new year, alcohol-free new year. Take care. Bye now.